Hi, uh, this is the Thought Net Core Basic Tutorial Path 7. And today I'm going to show you how to create this or uh, select this uh, item. And uh, I'm going to use the project in uh, Tutorial Path 6. This is my uh, GitHub and repository. You, you can download it from my uh, GitHub with the repository name Potato Script Tutorial, tutorial Source Course as Python Net Core and we see Tutorial Path uh, 6. You need to download this uh, Tutorial 6 and uh, Tutorial 5. Because uh, I was going to use the data from the da uh, database by using this uh, API from the list of tutorial pass file. Uh, if you don't know about them, you need to uh, go back to my previous uh, tutorial and watch the video first before you uh, come to this, uh, tu this tutorial. So how to uh, download this uh, t project from my uh, GitHub repository, uh, I will show you right now. Uh, of course, uh, you need to know the basics and uh, knowledge about the GIF. You want to know more about the GIF, you also can go to my tutorial video to watch them. And first, uh, in your uh, local machine or uh, in your desktop, uh, create a new folder. And you can name it something like my API. Open up this folder, you right click on your folder. It, this one, a uh, GIF. Open up this uh, terminal and First, uh, type this git uh, init to uh, create uh, your local repository. After that, you need to uh, assign the uh, remote address to your this uh, local repository. So you can type uh, git remote at origin and pass in this uh, to wrap up by the API project. So go to the code here and copy this address and go back to your your git terminal and paste in paste the code inside here and press enter key after that you can approve the project you can say pro origin master and you're going to uh, download the project from my github into your local repository next uh, open up this uh, project and uh, if you already had a database in your local progress sql server you don't need to create the database again you can just uh, run this uh, api if you don't have this uh, database local server you need to uh, open up this uh, tool console nugget package manager i want to open up this package manager console because uh, in this uh, tutorial this project i already has this uh, migration already created for you so the only thing that you need to do to create the to create the database uh, in, inside your progress SQL server, you only have to type the outdate uh, dash database. And it's going to uh, create this database for you. Across there, uh, you need to uh, install this uh, progress SQL uh, first before you uh, do this. So how to, uh, to install the progress SQL? You, also, you need to uh, go back to my uh, previous uh, tutorial. To check the database inside your project SQL server, you can uh, run your pgmin. So you need to download this uh, pgmin and install this uh, pgmin inside your local uh, machine first before you can continue with this uh, tutorial. So I already had created this uh, pro potato uh, database. You need to create this potato database before you do this uh, uh, this uh, update database from this uh, project. Just now I updated this uh, database in the console uh, ma uh, manager. You have uh, created this uh, table with the project. You can view this. Uh, so, and uh, this is the data that I have inputted uh, in the last uh, tutorial. So if you don't have this uh, data, you can uh, input this data uh, manually from here, or you can uh, input it uh, after that. I show you how to input this data from the web application. Then uh, you need to uh, after you update this uh, database and create uh, this uh, database in your uh, progress SQL server, you can uh, run this uh, API system to make sure everything is okay. And uh, if you have the, this uh, the data. Uh, print out uh, in your uh, web browser. It means uh, this uh, API is uh, running uh, uh, successfully. So next, we need to uh, we need uh, you can cross this uh, uh, terminal and the next uh, 
folder is the you need to create another folder uh, you can call it uh, my web uh, application and same as the one that we done before just now open out this uh, gif terminal from the my web application folder and and create this uh, gif repository local repository by typing this uh, git in it so after that uh, assign the remote address at origin and followed by the address of the project uh, path sys from my account here and in the repository name of this uh, tutorial path sys click on it and copy the code over here and then go back to this uh, terminal here and paste this address into here and press the enter key now you can pull origin into your master uh, rep local repository and you can see that you are starting to uh, download this uh, project file and the folder into your local machine you can cross this uh, terminal and uh, open up this uh, web application so this is the folder and the file that i have created in the tutorial process try to run this uh, system by click on this uh, RS express and you also have uh, this uh, output uh, like the one that over here uh, this is the data from the from our api uh, it is this data and this data is from our pgme uh, table over here the database table so if you don't have this data you can uh, you can uh, input the data uh, by using this our uh, application over here for example i call this uh, project e and uh, with the model uh, with the owner uh, mr c and click on this set button and you can uh, have this uh, new data today the topic is to show you how to create this uh, select uh, item list beside this uh, table over here so now uh, let's uh, go back to our uh, web application project and i will show you step by step how to create this uh, select this item first uh, open out uh, your view folder here now, open out this index file You can uh, min minimize the one so this is the table so i want to create another uh, object uh, beside this uh, table i can use this uh, html uh, script uh, to create another object called the uh, select item i can uh, input the data item into this uh, select item so you can uh, use this uh, view back uh, just give a name for example groups uh, i think uh, that's all for the setting in the view so next i go to the model you need to uh, create a uh, two two more property in your project model the first one is the uh, id also you can use this integer id uh, you can uh, use this uh, pro double tap to create this uh, property so the second one is the test i uh, you know that uh, we need an uh, id and you need a value and the uh, test for the this uh, select item so i will just uh, you of course you can uh, name this a uh, value but I, here i just uh, use the id so after you have this uh, two property creator over here you can uh, go to your controller home controller here and under this uh, index action this is an index action and uh, somewhere our alarm uh, here now we can start to create our view back for the, the groups view back group cool uh, we, uh, we need to uh, create uh, another uh, method for to set the data for this uh, view back groups so you can name this uh, method anything you write here i'm going to name it the get group You need to uh, use this uh, SPNet uh, crawler uh, MBC rendering to use this uh, select this item and class. And uh, this select is uh, belong to the this uh, uh, this link library. And over here, you can set the our object. You can say test equal to s dot test. 
and the value equal to s dot id and this uh, test and the id is from our uh, project model over here so next uh, we need to create this uh, get groups method so outside this uh, index action and we need to create a, a method uh, return this uh, list of our project model with the name of group I'm going to return the hard code data so I can just uh, type the return new list project and assign the value for this uh, project model I'll make sure this uh, ID uh, I use the local low, low case so here we only we need to use the lower lower low case as well and uh, ID is uh, I think uh, I will using this uh, in, uh, uh, integer over here so I support to use this string as well so that uh, we can assign the string into this ID and the test uh, let's say this uh, or yeah. and now uh, you can uh, copy paste few time and for example this is uh, a b c and the id is uh, you can say is a uh, one two and a three so now uh, let uh after we have assigned all this thing over here or uh, you can uh, try to run this uh, your project to see the result you say something uh, wrong uh, let's see what's the uh, i forgot that this is a uh, lower case so let's uh, run again this uh, system and as you can see that now we already created our select this item next i will show you how to uh, use the data from the database to uh, set the value inside our this uh, select item uh, select this item for example, I want to get uh, this uh, title inside our this uh, select list item. Uh, let's uh, go back to our Visual Studio. Uh, to do this, uh, it's uh, very simple. Uh, now, uh, go to your index action here. Uh, this time, uh, rather than using this uh, get uh, groups or uh, hard code data, uh, you can uh, comment out this or uh, you can copy this one. And let's comment out this one by pressing the Control K C and go down to the line after this uh, model here and pass this uh, line over here and this time uh, i want to use this uh, i want to use this uh, model rather than this uh, get groups this uh, model over here so this time uh, now we, you can uh, direct type in the title for your test and the project id for the value and because this uh, project ID is in the integer and our this uh, value is uh, in the string format so you have to convert this uh, project ID into the string by using this uh, toString method uh, that's all so let's uh, run again our uh, project and you can see that uh, our uh, select this item uh, the uh, item uh, value have been uh, set to this uh, title and the ID is, is of this uh, ID uh, you want to see the result of this ID for example I will click on this uh, project C and this project C or title will go to the title over here and the ID will go to the owner or maybe I will change this ID to owner so when I select the item over here uh, the value will display there over our input view over here so go back to our uh, code here and change this ID to the project ID to owner and we need to uh, use this uh, uh, JavaScript uh, to set the value into our input field we need to uh, go back to our this uh, select item inside our this uh, index view here and set the id so we have this uh, send the name over here this group and go to the this uh, site js file here and, and here we need to create this uh, trend or action handling for this uh, group object for this uh, select list item
and uh, let the creator audit for holding the this uh, our document get element by ID this group and you can uh, now uh, copy this uh, to object here over here so we want to set this title to this object dot option object dot select the index test and you can copy this and put it over here and change the test to value so let's run this uh, project again and this time when I select this uh, project B and you will see that the the title is set to the project B and the owner is set to the limb and C project C D E so that's all for the this are you how to uh, create this select this item by using the hard coded data and also show you how to use the data from the database to for the this uh, select this item so thank you and see you again in the next uh, video